welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are doing a look that I normally do when I wear my glasses. I'm going to share two different types of glasses I have so let's get started. I already have my eyebrows on, yes, and I'm already primed. I actually use the Maybelline primer all over my face. I also use the e.l.f. Putty Matte Primer just in my T-zone. I'm starting with the Milani Loose Powder in medium to dark. And I'm just going to apply that just on the bridge of my nose where the glasses hit. Now I do this for the near fact that I want to make sure when I wear my glasses that my makeup does not smear. We all know once you put your glasses on, especially in that area right there, that the makeup tends to wear off. So I'm taking extra precautions just to make sure that that doesn't happen. Now I'm going in to set this. I'm actually taking the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Setting Spray, spraying that all over to set that powder, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, I believe this is in the shade Deep Cinnamon, and I'm going to apply that like I normally would apply concealer under my eyes, around my mustache, and my mouth area. I'm also making sure it's down a little bit further because when I wear my glasses, they give you a shade, a dark cast. So I just want to make sure that everything under my eye is definitely brightened. If you see me looking like that, it's because I'm watching Criminal Minds. Don't mind me. Powder, I'm going in with the Maybelline Loose Fitting Powder in medium to dark. And we are actually going to bake. Normally, through my normal process of makeup, I do not bake. But again, I want to make sure that my glasses do not rub my makeup off, especially on the bridge of my nose. And I also want to make sure that it's brightened so I don't get that dark cast. taking the L'Oreal pressed powder in classic tan and I'm putting that kind of all over my face just mainly on the bottom half just to set that concealer I did and yeah now I'm taking this big fluffy brush that I got on my boxy charm my boxy charm and I'm going to wipe away the bake that I did For blush, I'm going in with the AOA blush that I got from my shop, Miss A. Actually, check that video out. It's my latest video. And this is in the shade Auburn. I actually really like this blush. So you can... I'm watching Criminal Minds again. <laughs> so as you can see, I go a little ham with the blush, but it's gorgeous. What can a girl do? I'm actually going back in with that pressed powder from L'Oreal again and I'm just going to set my eye just to make sure none of my eyeshadows crease and I'm also doing this to brighten them a little bit. My eyeshadow palette today I'm using the LA Girl The Nudist and I'm going to focus just on the dark brown, the tan shades, just to kind of elongate my eyes so I'm sticking towards my V shape and going a little bit in my crease as you guys will see I don't really do much makeup So now I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to take the black shade and I'm going to pat this on my lash line to act as a substitute for an eyeliner so it's not so harsh. Now I'm going to take a lighter shade. I couldn't decide which one I wanted to do, but I'm going to take that light shade and I'm going to pat that all over my lid and on my inner corners just to brighten up a little bit more. Now 
Yep, I'm sitting here crying, watching Criminal Minds. It's the episode where Morgan's son is born, and he says goodbye to Spencer, and he says how his son's middle name is Spencer. And yeah, I got a little emotional. What the fuck? Let me cry, girl. I'm going in with the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner in Brown. I'm trying not to make it so harsh, that's why I didn't go in with black. And I'm just going to do my lower lash line. In spray, I'm going in with the LA Girl Setting Spray. I really like this one. It actually compares to the Urban Decay All Nighter, but just a drugstore brand. So I'm using that to set my face. For my bottom lashes and the first layer of my top lashes, I'm going in with the Maybelline Push Up Angel Falsies, I believe it's called. I actually love this wand for the bottom lash, for the lashes I do not have. So that's why I use it for the bottom. And then I'm going to actually use it on the top half just as the first layer. For the second coat, I'm going in with the Stila Huge Last. This is my favorite freaking mascara. And I'm going in and I'm doing several coats. I'm doing like two or three at least. Because I feel like I need to go in more, I'm going in with a lighter powder from the L'Oreal. I totally can't remember this shade name. I think it's beige, soft beige. But I'm actually going in and I'm going to redo my under eyes just to brighten even more, honey. So for lipstick, I'm going in with a bold shade. I feel like when you wear glasses, you should definitely wear a bold shade. So I'm going in with this shade. It's called Dancer. And this is from the Maybelline Matte Liquid Lipstick, my favorite ones. I actually did a lipstick swatch. It's my first episode of the series, so check that out. So I'm just going in and applying this. Here is the look with glasses number one. These are actually my first pair that I got. I really like them, but they're not my favorite pair. I actually have another pair. Here are the second pair. They're a lot longer in length than the first pair, but these are definitely my favorites. Hello, yes. So <laughs> this is the makeup I normally do when I wear my glasses. I tend to keep it simple. Brighten and bold. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Mwah. <laughs>